Uh, we have a fantastic community spotlight. We love to show, show what organizations around Denver, Colorado, and beyond are doing. Uh, and to give us a little more info on that today, I'd love to welcome a brand new member and from the Denver Foundation, Dele. Everybody, give it up for Dele. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Dele Johnson. Uh, I'm from the Denver Foundation. Uh, this community spotlight is part of a budding relationship uh, and new partnership between the Open Media Foundation and the Denver Foundation uh, to help shed light on issues um, and highlight organizations in the metro area that are doing fantastic things and just happen to be Denver Foundation grantees. So this is our very first community spotlight, and so I'd like to invite Jessica Burnett from the Rocky Mountain Immigrant Advocacy Network up to the stage. Let's give a hand for Jessica. All right. Jessica, how are you tonight? So good. Thank you so much for having us, um, Denver Foundation and the Open Media Foundation. Thank oh, it's our pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Denver Foundation, also for hosting us. This is amazing. Um, so let's just jump right into it, Jessica. Can you tell us a little bit about the Rocky Mountain Immigrant Advocacy Network, your mission, a brief history of the organization, and what you're doing? Sure. So the Rocky Mountain Immigrant Advocacy Network, or REMAIN for short, um, has been around since the early 90s. Um, and so our mission is to provide low-income men, women, and children um, with legal representation in their um, immigration proceedings, um, as well as promote legal um, knowledge to give people agency um, through their own process um, in a really complex legal system, um, as well as um, improving detention uh, conditions and promoting alternatives to detention. Wow, so really vital work, very timely, very topical. Uh, immigration is definitely uh, an issue at the front of a lot of people's minds right now. It's had a lot of attention in the media. Um, so can you help us understand the situation as it regards to here in Colorado and how Remain is helping those who've been affected? Yeah, sure, and I can give a little more background to the organization as well. Yeah. Um, so we have a few different programs. Um, we have the detention program that goes out to the detention facility in Aurora um, every afternoon and provides a legal orientation. Um, every afternoon, seven days a week? Every afternoon, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> or five days a week. Five we take the week. weekend okay. off. <laughs> All right, you, um, have to have your, you have to enjoy your weekend, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely, we're in Colorado, right? Yes. <laughs> um, and so, uh, and so, um, so we have the detention program as well as our children's program, um, which uh, assists ch uh, children who've been victims of abuse and neglect um, and help them in their immigration proceedings. Um, so I know a lot of people have heard about the family separation issues um, that we've seen at the border and all around the country. Um, and a lot of people don't know that we've seen those people here in Denver at the detention center in Aurora. Yeah. So at the, at the border, um, families are being separated and then we're seeing the parents get transferred up here to Aurora. Okay, wow, that's, that's intense, I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, so what are your legal advocates seeing on the ground? Like what's, what's an average day at the detention facility look like for them? Yeah, so we've definitely been um, just all hands on deck. It has been crazy for us. Um, we are so thankful to the the Denver community. We've seen an outpouring of support um, from attorneys, interpreters, just everyone from every walk of life. Um, but the things we're seeing and the things we're hearing from these people who are affected are awful. Um, it's asylum seekers who've been um, traumatized in their home country and are fleeing um, awful violence and, and conditions, and then they come here and they are even further traumatized by their children being taken away from them. And um, I'm sure some people have heard of the deadline put in place to reunite families, but we've only seen a couple reunification stories so far, and it's a very uphill battle because there's no real system in place to reunite these families. Wow, that's, that's powerful stuff though. Um, I know it may be the assumption that there are a lot of uh, these people held that the detention centers are coming from south of the border, but are there also people who have uh, sought asylum in this, in this country from other countries that are being held in these detention centers as well? Definitely. We are pretty much a model UN at the detention center. I think we have about 80 different countries represented. So it's, you know, many countries from Europe, Africa, just really everywhere, um, including those from Central and South America. 
Wow. Well, I congratulate you and I commend you for the work that you're doing. Um, what is like the most critical point that you want the audience to know here in the studio um, and out there watching and listening about the work that Remain is doing? Yeah, so um, immigration detention separates families every day of the year and it has been doing it for years. And Remain has been around since the early 90s and we've been um, helping people since then and we'll be around after this family separation issue. Um, so I think it's um, just done a great job of kind of highlighting the, the injustices that are present in the detention centers every day. Sidebar, do you hope that there will be a day when uh, an organization like this doesn't need to exist? Definitely. <laughs> Um, and so how can uh, we as a Metro Denver community support uh, the efforts and the work of Remain? Yeah, so first I just want to thank the Denver community. You know, we've seen just such a great outpouring of support, and I feel so thankful to live in a community that rises up against um, these inhumane policies. Um, but we're always looking for additional volunteer attorneys and interpreters. Um, and, um, you know, we have a detention center in our backyards here in Aurora, so we have a lot of engaged voters in Denver, um, so just keep that in mind when you're, you know, at the ballot box and ma making decisions about, um, you know, what's happening with immigration policies in, here in Denver. All right, there you have it, folks. Uh, if you're out there in the studio or listening, um, look up, remain, do what you can to help support, uh, and thank you for your time.